hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and a puzzle called Elasticity by Sujoiku. Um, and it's a killer Sudoku. It's very straightforward rules. You'll find these puzzles in a lot of newspapers. Um, often people come to this channel and they go, this doesn't look like Sudoku like in my paper, I don't understand. But this one's easy to understand. Um, and we'll get to the rules in a moment. But don't forget, on Patreon, um, February, the month of interactions by Riff Clown um, from the 1st to the 20th. You could enter that to win a prize, um, but those puzzles are fabulous. Do join us on Patreon. There's always some great content. Uh, we've also, of course, got all of our apps, which include a Killer Sudoku app specifically, um, with some great puzzles in that too. And uh, do check them out, especially if you enjoy this one. Uh, there's also our merchandise and Sven Sudoku pad, and I've forgotten to put the light on, so there we go. Um, now, what are the rules of this puzzle? Normal Sudoku rules apply. That means one to nine will go in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Then, in a cage, there are no repeated digits, and the cage total is given in the top left corner. So, 15 there in five cells. Give it a try on the first link under the video. I am going to start now. Let's get cracking. And I think I hit the spot with that example. Is that the only cage in the grid where we actually know the contents? 15 in 5 cells must be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ah, look, this cell as well is, it sees all of the cells in that 15 cage either by being in the same row, column, or box. So that is none of those digits and is a high digit. Is this puzzle going to be about highs and lows? I think it is. 14 has only two possible fills, being a 9-5 pair or an 8-6 pair. 9 has three fills. The other cages are a bit less, well, Wow, they, oh look, there's all these 13s and 12s around the perimeter. Oh, what's going on? Is this set? So Joiku is a very clever constructor, so almost anything could be happening here. I don't see that we know anything about these. We've, s mm, okay, no, I know some, no, I don't, no, I don't. What do I do with these 12s and 13s? I don't know what's going on, sorry. Um, those six cells add up to 25. Now, I'm going to immediately share a secret with you. But the sum of every box in a Sudoku, just like every row and column, is always the same. It's always 45, because that is the sum of the digits 1 to 9, and by rule they appear in every box. So here, these three add up to 20, and that's a bit limited. They couldn't contain a 1 or a 2. Now, and it's the same, no it's not, the sum here is 24. So these three add up to 21, so they can't have a... One, two, or three. Oh, that's getting interesting a bit. No, maybe it's not. That could be a four, eight, nine, triple. Um, this 36 cage, every cell in it is viewed by those two cells because they can see this one outside the box as well. So that's effectively a set of eight different digits. The three digits not in the 36 cage, because of our rule of 45, add up to nine. Every other digit is in that cage. So nine's definitely in it. Actually, there are three digits. Nine, eight, and seven are definitely in it. Because there are three different digits that are not in it that add up to nine. This puzzle does feel like it's about three degrees of freedom all the way around. What on earth is going on, though? Is it to do with 
I mean, I'm tempted to try some set theory or something, but I don't actually know... I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know how you find a useful set to compare. If you were to compare these two, this row and column, against this row and column, you could eliminate the equal cells, the cells that are joint to both. And then in this one, you'd have four sets of 13. Okay, there are, th I don't think that's it. There are, there are three ways of making up either a 13 cage or a 12 cage. This could be a coloring puzzle. The three ways on a 12 cage are three, nine, four, eight, and five, seven. The three ways on a 13 cage are 4, 9, 5, 8, and 6, 7. So they don't include 1, 2, or 3. So where are 1, 2, and 3 in the bottom row? Now they can't all be here because this 9 cage needs two of them in it to exist. Is it a colouring puzzle? I don't know why. How can I colour different cage values against each other? Ah, OK. Right, this, these, let's, I'm going to colour these, these yellow cells. I know that they add up to 21 because of the total of the box and the total of those two cages. So, there are various ways to add up to 21. I think there are four. There's 489, 579, 5... Oh, no, there's only three, is there? 489, 579, and 678. Yes. Yes, this is important. Right. Ah, right, okay. 489 are all digits used in the 12 cages. Well, I'm not saying they're used in these cages. They're used in all... Yeah, imagine that this was 489. You cannot arrange those such that both row 1 and column 9 are still possible. And I'll try and explain why and how I can see that. And the answer is that in one of those situations, so either in purple or in orange, you would have to end up with a pair that made the other two 12 cages existing impossible. And that would be because the pair that you did put in the grid included cells from, included digits from two possible 12 gauges. So if you were to put four and nine in these cells, then you couldn't use four, eight or nine, three in these two, and they'd both have to be five, seven. Now, you can avoid that in this column, perhaps, by having a four, eight pair up here, and then the 12 gauges could be three, nine and five, seven. But then you wouldn't be avoiding it in this row because you wouldn't have 4, 8 there as well. And in the row, you would have a combination including a 9 and either 4 or 8. And you couldn't use 4, 8 and 3, 9 here. So 4, 8, 9 is not a set that allows orange and purple to be filled with their 12 cages. Now, there are two other possible sets, 5, 7, 9 and 6, 7, 8. And I think 6 is going to be the key digit, so I may be able to eliminate 5, 7, 9. Yes, it's exactly the same deal. Although you could put 5, 7 in one pair of cells, the other cell is always going to be a 9, with a 7 or a 5 there, eliminating 9, 3 and 5, 7 from the 12 cages and only leaving one possible combo. That is extraordinary. And I don't know whether, whether the restriction applies to the column or the row, but I do know it applies to one of them. So 579 is not possible. That group of cells is 678. And you cannot have... You, 
You cannot have 7, 8 as a pair, either in those cells or in those cells. Because, again, you would be restricted to only 3, 9 in the 12 cage in either the column or the row. So 6 is in both that pair and that pair. And the overlapping place where 6 can therefore be is in the corner. And we get a digit. And I'm wondering if these 13 cages are going to give us a similar thing down here. So these three red cells add up to 20. Now there are quite a number of ways of making those. But if we use any three cells in red, which can be in 13 cages, then we must run into the same problem of having a pair of them in one direction that obviates that row or column. So, how can you make up 20? You can do it with 5, 7, 8. And you would have to have 8 with either 5 or 7 in one orientation. And that would break that row or column. You could do it with 9... By what are we adding? 20. 9, 5, 6. Does that add to 20? Yes, it does. And that doesn't work as well. In fact, that doesn't work in any direction if you use 9, 5, 6. Because you would be definitely using. A pair, of the, a pair of digits that, that ruled out two of the 13 cages in each orientation. So that's utterly impossible. Now there is then 947. I'm not doing the maths right, am I? Yes, I am. That is 20. 947. And that doesn't work as well because, again, 7 will be with either 4 or 9 in one orientation and we'll only leave 5, 8 as a possibility. So the possibility that must work is 9, 3, 8. But you can never have 9 and 8 together, so 9 and 8 are in those cells, and that is 3 in the corner. And I hope you've understood my proof of its position, because that is a remarkable construction that uh, Sir Joiku has come up with here. I mean, I hope this gets easier, and I doubt that it does, funnily enough. So, let's get rid of the colours. Now, let's change the colours. Because I'm now thinking about colouring the 12 cages. So if that's an 8, these 12 cages are 3, 9 and 5, 7. And the remaining cells in the row would be 1, 2, 4. If it's a 7, these are an 8, 4, and a 9, 3, and the remaining cells are 1, 2, and 5. Oh, I don't know. Oh, hang on. Let's just do, do Killer Sudoku. So this is a 3-cell cage that doesn't, and adding up to 9, it doesn't have a 3 in it. So it's not 2, 3, 4, or 1, 3, 5. It's 1, 2, 6. And this one is 4, 5, 7, which does make 16. Ah, is there... Yes, up here, obviously there's no 9 in that cage. So the 9's in this cage with a pair that adds to 5. Oh, bother. So the 5's in the 10 cage. I can't actually complete those as I was planning to. Now, that can't be a 6, because one of these is going to be a 6-7 cage. That's the same here. One of these is going to be a 6-7 cage, whatever that is. So that's not a 6, and this is a 6. Now this isn't a 6. Now the 6 in box 1, because of that 6 that we've placed, can't be in those cells, and is in one of these two, which makes it a 6-7 cage. And now that's not a 7. And this cage is not 7-5, so it's 8-4 or 9-3. This is either 9, 4, or 8, 5. This one, oh, I don't know really. 
six, seven. That's going to use up the eight and the nine in the column. So everything left is from one, two, four, five. I don't think that's helpful, but I'm never afraid to apply a pencil mark. Um, so in this row, I don't know. It depends what these what these coloured cells actually are. Oh, look. This 14 cage can't be 8, 6 now, because what would it do to those cells? It would make them both into 7s. So that's a 9, 5. That place is 9 in box 3. And now one of these has to be a 9 by Sudoku. So that's a 3, 9 pair. That's an 8. None of these are 3 now. Now, come on. Three, this isn't, oh, well, it was, okay. Ah, this is not five, seven, and it's not three, nine. It's eight, four. Purple is seven. Yellow is eight. Now, can I run this round the grid? We've got one, two, and five to place in the top row. These are three, nine, and five, seven, because they don't have an eight in. And we've got one, two, and four to place in this column. These two add up to five. Ooh, yes, they can't be a one, four pair. Once we take the five out of those cells because of five, nine, if that was a one, four pair, they'd break this. So it's a two, three pair. This is now a one, four, five cage. Um, in this row, they can't have a two in. We've got six and seven to place. The one, four there means the other cells in the 15 cage are 2, 3, and 5. We've got a 5 there, so... Oops, sorry, 5 is not in these cells. That 14 cage is very helpful. The 11 cage over here doesn't feel... Well, okay, it doesn't feel so helpful, but it can't be a 4, 7 pair because that would make both of those 5s. It can't be a 3-8 pair, because that would make both of these cells 9s. Isn't that wonderful? So, it's either 5-6 or 2-9. If it was 5-6, that would be 4-7. That would be 2-1. And this would be 3-8 or 9. But if that was 5-6, this would be 4-9. This would have to be an 8. Uh, it does seem to work. If it's 2, 9, that's a 5, that's 4, 7, that's a 1. Wow, I mean, it's very prescriptive, whatever this 11 cage is, but I don't know what the answer is, so no solving of that done yet. It's a very interesting puzzle. This is so... This is so dynamic and tricky. Now, one of the big digits that makes up 13 lives outside these five cells in this row. And I was tempted to think it was there, but it could be a four living here, if that was a nine. The digit that, that lives outside the 13 cages is the complement of this blue digit in making 13. So it's either a 5 or 4 there, or a 4 there. Mm. I feel like I'm starting to think about this in the right way, which is a definite sign of progress. I don't know how that 20 cage is ever going to help now. Have I thought enough about this? Oh, that's lovely. Look, since we ruled out 5 from there because of the 5 in one of those cells, 5 is in one of those two cells. Now, whichever one it's in, this pair can't have a 5 in because it either sees a 5 there or there. 
So that is a 2-9 pair. Now we are away. We are going to get quite a few digits from that, I predict. That can't be 5 or 2 now. So that's 3, that's 2, that's 1. That's finishing everything in the top row apart from the last cage. That becomes 1, that's 2, that's not 2, and that is 2 in the column. And that fixes the 9-2 cage where we started. Gorgeous. And that makes this an 8, and the coloured cells are all done. I don't really have a reason at the end why I end up colouring them, I'm afraid, but there we go. This is whatever's the last thing in the column. It's a 4. There we go. 1, 6 and 7 to place in box 4. 6 goes there. 1, 7 pair sorts out for 1. This is a 5 and these aren't. And there we go. Big jump forward. Now, what goes here? Cell, so, well, they, they're definitely a 3. And whatever isn't 6 or 7 there. So, neither of these are a 5, obviously. They're definitely a 1, 4 pair. Now, that can't be a 3, so that's not 9. This can't be 9 or 5, apparently, so that's not 7 or 3. Ah, 8. We need a 5 in the row. It can't go in the cage because it would have to go with an 8, and we've already had 8 in the row. So, 5 goes here. That's going to be a 1, because we do need a 1 in the row. These are a 4, 9 and a 6, 7 pair. If they're 4, 9, this is 7, 5. If they're 6, 7, this is 3, 9. Don't think that's resolved. The 5 is looking up the grid, though. We get 9. I worked out earlier that this cage has to have a 9 in, and now we know where it is. There. It also has to have an 8 and a 7 in. But I don't know much about those digits. Now the 20 cage, most ways of making up 20 and 5 digits do have a 1 in. And that 1 would have to be here. Oh, and it's not here because this 1 is looking up at that. Now there is no 1 in this 20 cage. Therefore, the minimum digits possible are 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They add up to 20, and that's what's in the cage. This digit sees them all, and that 1, and is... Well, it's actually 8. I was going to write 7, 8, or 9, but I, look at all these cells. There is no pencil marked 8 anywhere in them. So that's an 8. Um... This is either a 7-6 or a 4-9 pair. Oh, hang on, let's just do some Sudoku. We've got a 5 there. We've got a 6 here. We've got a 2 and a 5 looking at that cell. This one is 7 or 9, just by virtue of everything it sees in its row, column and box. And that's going to use up the 7 and the 9 amongst those three cells, because whichever one it isn't must be in the 12 cage, which definitely uses one of those digits. This one is 5, 7 or 8, and is one of the three digits that doesn't go in the 36 cage. Now, if that was an 8, this would have to be a 3, and the other digit not in the cage would be a 1 but it's a lot more flexible if it's five, I think. Oh, look, I've got seven and nine looking down at the bottom. Ah, oh, oh no, that's a, oh, look at that, seven, nine pair. Okay, let's try and use that in the column. This is three, four, or six, and two is in one of those positions. I think this can't be two because we're going to need two more twos in columns seven and eight. And one can come from this box, but none of them can come from this box where we've already got a two in the box. 
So one of them comes from those three, and that's not a two or a five, because it's sitting on top of a five. So that's now three or four. No, this can't be nine. Um, there is a two in one of those two cells. Just Sudoku again. There's a five in one of these three. I'm not sure what that's doing. Is it this 36 cage? Okay, it's missing three digits that add up to 12, which include that one. And this one. Which is, again, not one, two, or nine. Those two and another add up to 12. I don't think it's that helpful. That other is in one of those two cells. There is a four in that group, and there is a four there. That's not a proper X-wing, though, so I shouldn't try and use it as one because I will fall into error. Um, ooh, there is a five in one of these three cells by Sudoku. It would be very useful if it was definitely outside 36 cage. Sorry about that. Unnecessary text. Um, right, one and eight. One is in one of those cells. Oh, no, that doesn't mean it's outside the cage. It just means it's not in that one. That's just Sudoku. Now, eight is in one of those three. Ah, I'm struggling around here now. I'm not sure what to do. I've got this two, three, four, six quad. I don't think it's helpful, though. I can't see how it is. I've really only got one box to populate with digits. I mean, I suppose apart from... Oh, no, actually, even this is not done. And that feels strange. I don't see how to do it. Nine is definitely in one of these two cells in box eight. I don't know, finding cells outside cages seems like a pretty profitless endeavour, and I'm not really going to try much of it. I could convert that colour to blue to match this eight here. I don't think that's going to give me anything that I don't know quite what to do. Made some great progress and got completely stuck. One of these definitely a nine. Worth pencil marking. Um, if it was there, this is a five-seven pair. And this is a 3-9 pair. So a 9 there brings us a 9 here. That forces us to have a 9 here. And then we have a 4 and a 6-7. Is there something fundamental about these operating together? They're either 7-5-9-6. Yeah, that won't work. That's really interesting. I think this is right. If this was a 7, this is 7, 5. That, no, I've got, I've got the maths wrong. Sorry, if that's 7, 5, that's 9, 4. Then this is 2, 3, 6. Oh, look, there's only one place for 5 in this cage. That's massive. Why haven't I spotted that? Numptiness. Right, 5 there, that's a 9, that's a 3. This is quite, this is going to move now. 7 and 6. Those can't be six. The only place for six in this very helpful cage, the 20 cage that I hadn't really got to grips with or understood is six's place there anyway. This is now a three. 
That's not a 9. We've placed 9 in this box, I believe. Yes. So that's there. That's a 4. That fixes 8 and 4 at the top. These are a 7-5 pair, but they remain now the only perimeter cage I haven't actually completely finished. So we get a 9 there. Nine, five, seven, six, two. Um, that is one or eight. Now it must be about the thirty-six cage. We surely we've got some information to to deal with that. I can place two in box eight there, thanks to the two-four pair. That is seven. That's four. That's seven. Box seven is my first complete box finished. Now this is now a one-eight-six triple. And that's not one, and that's not eight. Hmm. So, what? Six or eight? This digit must appear in box five, not in the cage. And it can't go there. It, it obviously can't go in this column because it's already there. Whatever this yellow digit is, can't be in the cage can't be there by Sudoku. It can't be here because that sees 6 and 8. So it's here and it's 8. And then it deserves a different colour. Let's get rid of the other colours and just celebrate the 8. Which must be in all of these positions now. 8. 8, I said. Sorry, I accidentally hit the 7 button. As I said, 8. Now, that means that this is a 1-6 pair unresolved. Ah, 7 is looking up at that cell. I think we're going to finish off now. Uh, box 2 and 1 are finished. Now, so these are the three cells not in the 36 cage, since 8's in it here. So they add up to 12. That's not 8. This one is now one of 3, 4, or 5. In fact, that is not a 7 either. That is a naked 5. This is 3 or 4. And I think this must now... They don't add up to 12. I'm so sorry. They add up to 9. Have I said before that they add up to 12? Have I even used it? I don't think I've used it. I have somehow said it a few times. And it's not true, and I don't know why I thought it was true. But 45 minus 36 is 9. So the three digits not in the 36 gauge add up to 9. I think now they must be 531. There we go. I really hope I haven't used that bogus maths anywhere. 3948. We've got a 7, 6, and 2. Seven five seven one in this row. That's a four. That's going to get us the numbers outside box six. And the last two numbers are a one and a three. And that is elasticity. We kind of stretched the perimeters to breaking point and then broke through. What a lovely puzzle. What an excellent piece of work by Sujoiku. Fast becoming one of the best constructors in the business and a pleasure to have a go at one of their puzzles. So thank you as always for watching on the channel. I hope to see you again very soon, but as it is, bye for now.